Imagine, you think this is, it's not possible to write everything he did. Yeah. Listen, yeah. and yeah. again, just to clear the record, this is legal. What yeah. Paul wrote is legal. There were things he saw and heard, and things were revealed to him, and heaven said, this is not legal for you to tell. Yeah. Mm. There were, he was caught up into some place, yeah. some other place. And he was not permitted to tell what he saw. Uh -oh. This he was permitted to tell. <laughs> we're in trouble. Yeah, we are in big trouble because we have difficulty believing this. Wow. Wow. Yeah. John ends his writings, or begins his writings, it's never ending, never beginning. Enough was written for you to believe. Mm -hmm. that he was indeed the son of God mm -hmm. and that indeed he was raised from the dead you don't have to see him physically we're called believers yeah you're called believers believers <laughs> <laughs> no I'm called a doubter <laughs> I will remain a doubter until I see him I'm, 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 I'm going with the Thomas clan. I'm going with the Thomas guys. You know. Um, <laughs> Believing instead of achieving. They're two different realms. You have no track record in that realm of faith. Nothing! No track record. God says, you, you, you want proof? You want to test me? You want proof? You know what he said in the Old Covenant? He goes, okay. You want to test? Give me your money. Give me your money. See what happens. You want to test God? Uh-oh. Uh-uh. 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 your wallet. Come on, test me. That's what he said. I'm serious. In the book of Malachi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. Oh, my God. You know, can we back up a bit? Because oh that's kind of, you know. No. God said, okay. Really good. Let's talk serious. You want to test me? Put your money out. Yeah. Keep putting your money out. <laughs> I'll show you if I'm alive or not. If I'm uh, real. <laughs> But you know, I'm not going to manifest my body for you to touch. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I did it one time. That was enough. Oh, yeah. That was enough. <laughs> 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 Money. Oh, let's talk. But let's hurt. Let's talk where it hurts. Come on and test those Jews. He said, yeah, okay. Come on. Bring your money out. Put your cash on the table. I have the most awesome testimony. Gotta wind it up. How many minutes? Seconds? Help me down. Oh, two minutes. Okay. Just last week, I was in a conference this last weekend. Awesome, supernatural, crazy conference. And I'm one of the conference speakers, you know, and then the offering's going by, and the Lord told me, empty my wallet. So, empty my wallet. There we go. You know? And I'm like, well, that's kind of interesting. You know, because I know the, comp the offerings are going to the conference speakers, too, so. <laughs> um, by the end of the night, it was so hilarious. I'm like, George gave me, oh, George gave me 15 minutes to share. So I was on the clock. I'm like, that is so torturous. 15 minutes? <gasps> okay, so. There's a music stand here, and there's holes in it, you know, this, just holes in the metal. And I, so I've got 15 minutes, and I go, oh, but it's daylight savings. Can I, can I buy an, another hour? Oh, can I just oh. cash in my hour, you know, to get an extra hour? George wasn't too happy with that, so I go, okay. So I'm going, count, count me down. I've got two minutes. And someone comes up and, and says, hey, but I got three bucks. I'm going to give you three dollars. Can I buy some more time? I says, George, I got, can I have three more minutes? He goes, sure, honey. So... So we, we put, you know, we, he throws the money there. 
and then someone else comes up with another, hey, I got five bucks. So someone, and I, so I just keep speaking. I keep speaking. I'm just <laughs> off like this. Blah, 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 blah. And people start coming up and just throwing money. And I'm going, whoa, look at all these holes. What if we just rolled up and just stuffed the holes full of money? That would be cool, wouldn't it? And I'm just oh, oh, oh. I'm just preaching. My, oh, 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 oh. I mean, people are just getting up and throwing money up there. They're coming up. The people are falling down, getting drunk. They can't even make it up there. They're crawling. And I said, just throw your money then. It's okay. Throw it up. So they're, someone started stuffing all these holes in the thing. Okay. And the money's piling over. And I'm just preaching away. I'm preaching you're dead to sin and alive to God. And, you know, I'm just going off. And the whole place, it's like a pandemonium. And so, oh, but all this money's coming. I'm going, and then we go home, we count it, we're counting it, $1,300. Oh <laughs> and I'm just finishing counting it, and I hear, in the background, we're staying at someone's house, and I hear this, the sound of a check being ripped out of the book. I'm like, whoa, I heard that. <laughs> so, he doubled. Uh, what? Wow. I counted. Wow. So I walked away with twenty six hundred dollars. Wow. The guy got it to me. He got it into my hands. Wow. That is a it's it's an ever living testimony. Proof, evidence of God. Don't don't you know when he says give money, give money. Wow. When he says empty your wallet, empty your wallet. He'll get it back to you. And it, it took me a while, I'm going, oh my goodness, I think it was the next day, I'm going, wow, you you got that money back to me. Not to my husband or not to the ministry in the form of a check, you know what I'm saying? This You gotta get this, you know, because when we, you know, people give us offerings and checks and all that stuff, but this was like, this was major, major. God will prove himself to you, but maybe not the way you're demanding. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Break time. Maybe not that, you know, well, does that mean you you don't sin? Let's answer like this. Are you living with Jesus Christ? Does that mean you don't sin? Say, well, are you living with Jesus? Is Jesus living you? Ask that question. Does that mean, do you mean to tell me you don't sin? Do you mean to tell me you don't live with Jesus? Oh, wow. Whoa. How come you don't? Oh. How come you don't live with him and know him and, and have a conscious awareness of his presence with you day and night, night and day? Whoa. Because I haven't achieved it yet. That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you forgotten that all of us, when we were baptized into fellowship with Jesus Christ, were baptized into fellowship with his death? Oh, nice. Fellowship with his death. This is by Conover. So what I'm reading here is a collection of all the translations that I could get my hands on. So instead of carrying, like, you know, these big... Uh, big books around with me I kind of thought I'm just going to simplify and downsize so what I have here is just you know the translations themselves have you forgotten that all of us when we were baptized into fellowship with Jesus Christ were baptized into fellowship with his death <coughs> now, what, part of, what, or, or what fellowship are you with are you fellowshipping with somebody? You, you, it's like you're, it's like hanging around. It's like talking. It's having a, you know, spending time. Well, have you had fellowship with him in his death? No, not not recently. You know, have you forgotten that when we became Christians and were baptized to become one with Christ, that we died with him? That's the New Living Translation. You've been... Ew! Have you forgotten? Uh, I could say I never knew. 
uh, that 